Hi everyone, this is Leon Laroche from Trivium Writing and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to write a book in Google Docs. So the first thing that you'll want to do is go to drive.google.com now, if you don't have a Google account already, then you'll want to look up create a Google account and create your account here. Then you can go to your Google Drive and create a document by clicking on new and then on Google Docs. So this is going to open a new document, which I'm going to title my book project. If you already have a title for your book then you can write it here for now I'm going to write my book project now before I do anything else what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a second document I'm going to go to file new document and this is actually going to serve as my book outline The reason I'm creating a second document for my book outline is that I personally enjoy putting things together, brainstorming and creating a structure for my book before I actually get started. So what I like to do is create a bullet point list of all the ideas that I have. And this way I can work through these ideas later on, put them in order, eliminate some, expand on others and so on and so forth looking at a outline a outline template that I've previously created and so your outline can look something like that it can look differently if you wish but this is just how, how I do it now going back to the book project here I have a template which by the way you can access by clicking the link in the video description so what you want to do is put your book title in the middle of the page, put it a little larger than the rest of the text. If you have a subtitle, you can put it below. Here I've got Latin gibberish, and then you'll put your name additionally. You can also put the date and where you are writing this book. This is access or this is not necessary, but uh, this is just for you. This doesn't have to look professional this does not have to be professionally formatted because at this point you're just writing the book right so also you're gonna want to pick a font and a font size that you actually like so for me I picked book Antica Antiqua whatever it's pronounced and uh, put a certain size you want it to be easy to read and I just want to emphasize this for a second. It's actually important to have a nice layout, a nice formatting, because if you don't look, if you don't like the document that you're looking at, then you're not going to be motivated to write. That's just human nature. So make sure that you actually like what you are looking at because you are going to spend a fair bit of time in this document. So next thing that you want to do is a table of contents now it's already it's already created here in this template but the way you create this table of contents is by going to and in, insert and then table of content and so you can pick this one with page numbers there's another option with blue links but I selected the the one with the page numbers so what's going to happen when you create your table of contents let's assume that there is no text whatsoever in the document then you're going to go down here now I have text because I'm using the template that I created and that you can access in the video description but here we have some text and here we have the introduction which we want to have in the table of content so we have different types of headings right section one is heading one and so it's going to appear here and the chapter titles are header heading two so they are going to appear here and then we could even go to heading three and add more but we're not going to do that here additionally 
uh, this is title. And so when you use this, the style, you are telling Google Docs, you're giving Google Docs information. And so this is sending information to the table of contents. So if I, if I modify introduction and I call it conclusion instead, then when I go and update the table of contents, it's going to reflect the changes. Now, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to put back introduction. So I've created this template that you can actually use. But if you are creating your manuscript on Google Docs from scratch, then what you want to do is put the section title. Um, here, I just have a number. I could have given it a title if I wanted to. And so I'm going to put heading one and put it in the middle of the page to have a clear indication. The second thing is I want to put the chapter titles at the beginning of the page. And then I have a specific layout for the text. So in this case, I have Book Antica font size 16 and I have some indentation some indent. Okay. And so here I also have subheaders. Now, if I want, I can actually put heading three, apply heading three. And now this is going to appear in the table of contents. But that's up to you. It's really just if you want to see it in the table of contents. So I actually don't want to do that. So I'm going to do command Z and cancel this. All right, so I'm just going to put it as normal text. And I'm going to put it as book Antica 16. And then I'm going to put it in bold. So typically your subheader should not have an indent, it should be bolded. And you can put it a little bigger than the normal text if you wish. Uh, but you don't you don't have to like I said, it's not very important that it's professionally formatted at this point in the writing process, because you really just want to have a document that you enjoy looking at that you are happy to work with. Because for now, as you write this book, this is your home, right? Now you'll want to repeat the same operation across the different chapters. So here we have chapter two. We have chapter three, there's no text, and then section two, then chapter four, chapter five, chapter six, section three. So this is what your document should look like when you are writing your book. Really, it's up to you how you build it. But this is this is a good template. It's used by a lot of people. And I've created this template to help people who don't know how to get started. And so I've actually created a comprehensive guide, you'll see the link to it in the video description. It's a blog post on the Trivium writing website. And it walks you through every single step. It's essentially the same thing as in this video. And there is also the template that you can that you can get. And so you can just click the link in the video description to get the template. So that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope that this was useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any question, if there's anything that you'd like to learn when it comes to book writing. Um, I'm happy to create any kind of content that is useful for writers, aspiring authors. Trivium Writing's mission is to make the writing and the publishing process easy for everybody who has ideas that can change the world. So our goal is to make sure that no great thinker is left behind when it comes to writing. We want everybody who has great ideas to have a voice and to be able to share their ideas with the world. So on these words, bye-bye.